films from all over the world. Directors come in to you know attend their shows, and that's a chance for Kansas City to see stuff from all over the world. And so, how do you narrow it down to find those films that are perfect? For you? <laughs> well, that we started. I started in January. I saw this year about 300 films and shorts. I started in January. We have a screening crew. They, we screen all kinds of movies, and we try to pick the best of the crop to play in KIF. But we only have 54 time slots, so we have 158 films, including shorts, from 29 countries and 50 filmmakers attending. So there's a lot. We have something for everyone. It could be a studio film. It could be animation. We really showcase the local filmmakers. We call it KIF Local, and they're very well attended. You know, if you've never been to a film festival and you like movies, you should, because you participate. You vote on the movies. You get to talk to the directors, and it's a lot of fun if you're interested in independent movies. I think I had like 150,000 people go through my doors last year, and a lot of them don't come to the festival because they don't know where to start. And I always tell people, don't let the word festival scare you. What you should do is just look at the schedule, find one or two movies, sample it for this year. You buy a ticket like you buy a normal movie ticket. Maybe next year buy a festival pass, and see, you can see probably 18 different programs th spend the whole week with me. Some people take vacation at that time. All right, let's talk about this year's festival. What are some of the highlights? Well, I think the, well, our opening night movie is from a local filmmaker, Stephen Pruitt, The Land. What's he going to do, Mary Lou? Forgive our loans? He wouldn't be a very good banker then, would he? Please, John. If you won't do it for yourself, at least do it for me. We were planning to do a different film uh, when we got the idea for the land. The script wasn't coming together the way I wanted. I, I just like, you know, we were really far into it. I mean, 80, 90 pages, and it still didn't, wasn't working. And I'm not sure it ever will work, but so we kind of set that aside. And Mary went off to a film festival in Mississippi to visit a friend of hers. And uh, while she was gone, I had this idea in the back of my mind to do this film called The Land. And so I went down to the basement and wrote the first 50 pages in the four days she was gone. And when she came back, I gave it to her and I said, well, would you read this, see what you think? And she goes, oh, we got to do this movie. So when, from there, I had in mind one man to play the lead, and his name was Herman Johansson, who was at the, he was actually in uh, one of our earlier films, but he um, lived in Hollywood at the time. And so I wrote him, I said, Herman, I'm interested in you. Would you be willing to move back to Kansas City to do this picture? And uh, he said yes. He, he just, you know, take a peek at the script. You loved it. And uh, then he suggested we look at a couple of actors, one of which was our female lead, Kathleen Warfel. Uh, who and the two of them together, we did a screen test. We had Herman fly back and uh, do a screen test with the two of them. And it was just like, I believe these people are, are, are a couple. Mm -hmm. They just blew it away. Actually, Herman's done two movies with us. Um, and in that respect, you know, as we said, we like to cast locally. Um, Steve often, when we're, we're writing something, he will have a particular actor in mind. Um, and sometimes that works out and sometimes it doesn't. But right. fortunately, Herman was was right. more than willing. In fact, yeah. he just won Best Actor Award in the... Um, yeah, Chesapeake Film Festival. Yes. He was picked for, for the, when the land played there. He was uh, picked as the best actor of the festival. And that was quite an accomplishment for him. We were really pleased for him. And you guys have also won some awards with we this We have. Film. The film has taken Best Picture at several festivals. and uh, Critics' Choice. Critics' Choice, all mm -hmm. kinds of things. So uh, I, we've been very gratified with the success of the film. And we're really just hoping a lot of people here in Kansas City come out and have a chance to see it.